Hey everybody, it's me again, <clears throat> and you are here getting ready to see the awesomeness of Tasty Tuesday. So, for this Tasty Tuesday, we're getting ready to do a really exciting recipe for me, rosemary cauliflower rolls. So, let's be honest, you voted, and you chose, and that's the one you chose. So, we're going to jump right into these here in just a second, but let me say a couple things real quick about our why, why we're doing this and what we're doing. First off, if you don't know this already, Lori and I are health coaches. We've been health coaching for a while, and later on, I'm going to show you a live video. I mean, I'll do a live video and show you some of my story from last year. One year ago, my story was very different in my birthday time, and so we took a radical leap and a radical step, and we took our health back. I lost 76 pounds. Lori lost 50-some pounds. So with that said, with that radical change in our lives, we've changed the way we eat so we're coaching other people now, we have tons of clients, and we've seen significant results in their lives by eating healthier. And there's so many of our friends out there that we wanted to help do the same thing. So that's why we started Tasty Tuesdays. We started Tasty Tuesdays so that we could help everyone out there that wanted to get healthy, to get healthy and um, to eat well. And we've been proving that you can do it and it's not expensive. <clears throat> so that's Tasty Tuesdays. But listen to this, the reason why we're doing these specific Tasty Tuesday recipes is also purposeful because it is extremely hard to be committed to any kind of program. Hey JC, I see you on. It's, it's extremely hard to be committed to any kind of program or to your own health during the holidays. Sometimes it's our very family that sabotages us the most. They remember all our favorite foods and they always introduce them to us. And then we're thinking, oh, I wanna eat healthy, but it's just so hard. And so for the next few recipes, you're going to get tools for your toolbox, recipes you can use for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or any other holiday to take to those fellowship events and those um, get togethers with family. And you can take part, you can show them how to be healthier as well. And this recipe is exciting because <clears throat> instead of creating a rosemary uh, bread roll, we're creating rosemary cauliflower rolls. So tonight's rosemary cauliflower rolls. In a couple weeks, we're gonna have a couple more new recipes, but this is a great recipe you're gonna be able to use. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing is that you need to know on this recipe, and again, Lori will put this in the comments later. So you're gonna see it in the comments. You'll get the whole recipe. But in this recipe, this is gonna be four servings, okay? So the serving is gonna be about three of these cauliflower roll biscuits a piece, okay? And so per serving, you're getting one quarter lean and you're getting two green and three condiments if you're on our plan. So you're not getting your full three green. For us, we're gonna add a spinach salad. If you've ever seen what a cup of spinach is, it's ginormous. So we're getting a lot of food tonight. We're getting a cup of spinach salad. We're gonna get our, um, you know, our cauliflower rolls, three of those. And because this isn't a complete lean, which a lean for you guys that don't know this, is about eight or no, I'm sorry, <laughs> five to seven ounces, five, six ounces of lean meat. Tonight, we're gonna do one of our favorites, which is <clears throat> a turkey breast that we've gotten from Aldi. And so these are already seasoned. For you guys on program, you'll wanna take most of the seasoning off, but this is a really great thing. So I'm gonna take this, I've already got the oven started. It's going 325, I'm gonna have it go for 50 minutes. I'm gonna get this in there, just plop it right in the oven, get that turkey breast going, and then while that turkey breast is going, I'm gonna keep cauliflower going as it's defrosting and then get a salad ready. So you guys, let me hop in and put this cauliflower in real quick. One more round for some of these. I'm having to do them a couple minutes. Our microwave is not as good as y'all's. I've got my extra cauliflower here because you guys saw last time, they don't always give you all your cauliflower. And so, get this last round of microwave for that cauliflower to get done. Now, let's go ahead and get in here. We're gonna get this turkey breast. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. You can get this at Aldi, guys. So here's the turkey breast we got from Aldi. We're gonna get this guy in here. Hey, Sharla, good to see you. We'll get this guy in here and um, get it just started. I'm just gonna throw it right in the oven. So here it goes. And you know, that's just awesome. There it is, look at that. Turkey breast already marinated. Again, if you're on the program, you're gonna to wanna to get off most of the marinade. For us, we can do this. We're past our program point. We're staying healthy, we're eating leaner. But now that's one component. So for you guys, you can do something like a nice lean turkey or a nice steak. Oh, that is now in. First part 
done. So now I've got the turkey in there. It's just a matter of getting to the cauliflower and the salad and all that good stuff. So let's get on with these cauliflower rolls. All right, so back down here, I'm going to set this up. Here we go. Boom, got my bowl here. And we're gonna go ahead and put in the com components and the cauliflower will be all done in a minute. Let's take it a minute longer. So the first thing is, is it says we're gonna, um, the oven's already heating for us, but you would wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees um, to get it ready for this because when you're done, you're gonna put yours in. Mine's gonna be a while. With that said, echo, set timer, 50 minutes. Echo, set timer, 50 minutes. All right, Echo should get my timer there. Perfect. So my turkey's going, and so while I'm doing that, I'm gonna get this going. So here are my components tonight. Let me show you what I got. So I've got two eggs. I'm gonna be using eggs in this. I'm gonna put them in a second. I've got, of course, the rice cauliflower. We're gonna put in four cups. We just got this rice cauliflower right here that you warm up in the microwave, so we're warming it up, and then I'm putting it right in. So we've got rice cauliflower, and then you've also got a third cup of mozzarella cheese. That's one of your components. You're going to do a third cup of almond flour. Isn't that cool? So this is almond flour. Blanched almonds, finely ground. They're great for baking and breading. How about that? So almonds are a superfood. We love them in this house. Of course, we got some just salt and then, of course, rosemary. We're going to need the rosemary in there. It wouldn't be a rosemary biscuit. Let's go ahead and start adding these components. The first component we're going to add in, of course, is the two eggs. So two eggs coming right up, one in there. Boom, two eggs, done. Now we're gonna add in some of the cauliflower. I'm not gonna add all of it at once because I'm of course warming some of it still. It's not completely, completely cooked, but I am warming it up so that it'll stick and do what it needs to do. So let's get this in here. All right, smell that cauliflower. We love cauliflower in our house. And you guys, if you can turn it into different things like this, it makes it so awesome. So we're gonna need four cups of cauliflower now. Let's go ahead and get that started. There's one. That's a little bit on the icicly side still, but it's okay, it's getting ready to go in the oven. It's not quite a cup. Here's two cups. Okay. It's still got a little bit in there, but I need to do this. Let's get these others going. Now I've got to get this third cup. It sounds like the rest of my cauliflower is just about ready. Two. And then one more. One more cup. Hey, Laura. I see Laura's on. That's cool. Okay. So I got my rice cauliflower in there. Four cups of rice cauliflower are in. Now I'm gonna add a third cup of the almond flour. Let me go ahead and raise this up so you guys get more of a view here. Here we go, I gotta get more of my desktop or my area, so there's that. Now we're gonna need a third cup of this almond flour. So as I do this, and you guys can see, it is really gonna be an easier recipe tonight, which is nice. So here comes the next one. Third cup of almond flour. Boom, third cup, almond flour's in there. Now I'm gonna have to do a third cup of the mozzarella cheese. Let's get the mozzarella cheese, putting it in there. Huh, note to self, fingers get slick after doing eggs and sticky stuff. Let me see if I can cauliflower wet. One second, guys. Okay, see if I can try this again. Okay, here we go, now. Oh, it's just not happening. All right. Well, tired of waiting on that. There we go. Here we go. So I've got to put in now a third cup of the mozzarella cheese. 
Now this bag is just fighting with me. Okay, third bag of this mozzarella cheese. So moms, this is gonna be a good one out there. If you guys are thinking about what you can do for the family at Thanksgiving, you're like, but Dustin, these are a lot of different recipes and it's hard for me to get you know, all of them done in one day. Well, guess what? This is a short one. You could get this one going while you're doing other things. So now we got that in there. That's all done. We have now got to put in the salt. It's going to be um, one half teaspoon of salt, which is right here. Get that salt ready. This is going to be one of the easiest recipes, guys. I'm telling you. All right, so got a half teaspoon of salt coming. I am excited about this. I can see that I can actually tell what this is going to be like. All right. I actually need to give a little bit more than that. I'm going to like a quarter teaspoon. Okay. All right. That's great. Now, I'm going to take this and put it to the side for just a second and create that rosemary because the last component I need is some two tablespoons of fresh mo rosemary chopped finely. So let's go ahead and get that chopped. You guys can see how this is coming along. It's actually very close to being done already. That's how great this recipe is. It's very short. These again are these rosemary cauliflower, riced cauliflower biscuits. Now see, this is really kind of big. I'm gonna chop this up a bit more here in a second after I get out some of the big pieces. I don't like all the big stalks in there, so I tend to get those out. I don't know if you do or not. Just get those out of the way. Oh, that rosemary is awesome, guys. Do you know what's so fun about this? I tell you, I don't know if you remember growing up and walking into your granny's kitchen or something and smelling all the smells and it just brings back memories or whatever, but there's certain things, certain smells I smell that remind me of good memories. I don't know about you guys. And you know, when you do these recipes, you gotta remember something. Not only are you making things that are gonna make you feel better, cause your food you eat does affect how you feel. No matter what anybody says, the food we consume affects how we feel. It affects our mental and our thinking. So when you start doing better foods, you start to feel better. Well also, when you're doing these and you're making great memories with your family, you know, it's really cool because they're gonna remember these smells. They're gonna remember walking in the kitchen, remember it, rosemary that their folks are using to cook. And you know, it's mostly ladies, you ladies who do it, and I honor you. You guys are rock stars, always cooking in the kitchen. But guys, my kids are starting to get memories right now of me cooking on Tuesday nights and they are enjoying it. So they like it when they get these new recipes and they say it's fun and it's creating memories. And so that's what we're about here. We want to have great experiences. And while I finish this, as I'm talking about these great experiences, I just want to, I want to say one more thing, and this is truth. So we only get a certain amount of days with our family and our kids, right? We only get a certain amount of time. And so it doesn't matter, you know, what we think. It's just the way it works. And you only get, you know, you're only promised, Lord willing, 18 birthdays with them until they're old enough to get out on their own. And you're only promised, so there's my two tablespoons, and you're only promised a certain number of Christmases and a certain number of Thanksgivings or holidays or whatever. So guys, why don't we make them good, you know? Let's make them good. And the kids are going to remember these stories and these memories. Okay, so we got four cups of rice cauliflower in here, one third cup of almond flour, two eggs, one third cup reduced fat shredded mozzarella cheese, two tablespoons of fresh rosemary, um, chopped as well as I can do it, and then a half teaspoon of salt. So we're going to take this stuff and it says we're going to mix it together and then we're going to scoop it into even sized rolls or balls. So let me grab something. Let's just mix this stuff together as good as I can. Oh my goodness, I am excited. I hope you guys get excited about these things. I mean, this is fun for me. I hope my, my um, excitement comes through and you live vicariously. And if you're at your home and you don't have your family in the house anymore and you're like, well, Dustin, I don't have my family in the house to make these memories with. Hey, I tell you what, make some great friends and have a small group and eat a dinner together and prepare some of these things for them. 
and you'll find out something I found out. Being nice and kind and doing stuff for other people is so rewarding. It's celebration in itself. If you feel like you're getting stuck at any point, get into some massive kindness action and do something for somebody else. You know, with the season coming up, we can totally do that. All right, look at that. That's our mix, and it's come together really well. It's not anything special or extraordinary, but these are going to be awesome biscuits here in a minute. Right? So, here we go. I'm going to now grab my pans. I've got some pans. I'm going to lightly grease them. We use, you can either use like a Pam or um, we use an extra virgin olive oil cooking spray. I'm going to lightly do these just so they don't stick. Right, and there's that. Now, we're going to start creating the biscuits. These rolls or biscuit roll kind of things, right? Okay, look at this. I want to show you guys something. Check this out. This is so cool. So my wife leaves me all kinds of notes. She left me notes for this, telling me what to do with the turkey and different options I could do. I chose to bake it, Lord. And then she, she said this note right here, and these little notes help me out so much on my videos. I just thought I'd show you guys. Sometimes, not all the time, but I love my wife. Boom. All right. So, but she still can't come in the kitchen. Okay, back to the rolls. Now, we're going to make these awesome rolls. So, I'm going to start making them up. Nothing special. Ooh, still a little cold on my cauliflower. I'm going to squeeze them up real good. All right, almost there. And I'm just going to make these rolls. There they are. There's a little one. I guess I can make them bigger even, but knowing my family, they'll like to eat the little ones. Oh, Lori said don't show the secrets. Well, too late, Lord. I'm already showing them. So there's that one. You guys look at that. Kind of, you know, it has a consistency. It's very, very near what, you know, making a biscuit feels like. For those of you who don't know. Okay. All right. I did pick the longest option for the turkey. Well, there you go. What you gonna do? I'm just a guy. I don't do kitchen all the time. You ladies know better than I do. My wife is brilliant at this stuff. Okay, so I'm making the rolls. These actually, they look pretty awesome. I, I hope you see what I'm doing. I'm actually squeezing a lot of the water out because the cauliflower is holding quite a bit of water. So I think you'll want to do that as well. Just make sure you get it where it's compacting and it's going to end up being a lot like a biscuit, right? Okay, here we go. We're almost there. So these are these rolls. I'm going to keep making these and make a few more. I might just stop for a second and talk to you. But here's what my rolls are looking like, guys. What do you think? It's a good start. Hey, Lynn, good to see you on. I saw Charlotte on. Yep, there's Rev. How you like that? You guys, Rev is always in the kitchen when I'm cooking. That dog likes cauliflower. Can you believe it? Anyway. All right, a couple more, and then I'll have this pan done, and I'll pause for now and do the rest of the pan in just a second. But you can see what I'm doing here. I love it. And you can see how the rosemary's getting in there for some of them. It's not like it's a lot. It's just a little bit per, you know, biscuit or ball. Okay. Finish this pan up. I'm getting all the juice out of cans. Make them. Yeah, Re Rev's hungry. That's true. Okay, guys. Let me wash my hands real quick. Those are covered in egg juice. Okay. So back to this. All right, I'm gonna get this up close so you can see them. And this is what we're looking like. How do you guys like that? Boom. Kind of like stack biscuit things. You know, like your grandmother used to do. The, the biscuits are kind of rough stack, you know what I'm saying? They're kind of like messy and all kind of out of whack, but isn't that great? Look, biscuits, guys, I'm getting biscuits. It's been a long time since I had a biscuit. I grew up in the South, we like our biscuits. Okay, so there's my biscuits. Here's what's going to happen next with those. Let me explain so that you can be ready as well. We're going to take those and we're just going to bake them until golden brown. It says right here it's going to take about 30 minutes. Now it says optional that we can crisp the outside of the um, biscuit rolls by broiling it for a few minutes before serving. So here's the trick. We're going to put them in for about 30 minutes, get them nice and brown. You can see them right there. And then we're going to come back at the end and broil them, it says, just for a few minutes and give it the nice crispy edge. 
We'll try to take some pictures of those later. All right, so let me get this back to here so you guys can see me normal and we can finish this up. <clears throat> so really, for this recipe, it's that easy, guys. It's that easy. You're taking all the components, <coughs> dumping them in a bowl, and then turning around, put them on a lightly sprayed pan, and put them right in the oven. Now, if you're doing this with a spinach salad like we talked about and got a serving there, you've got two of your green servings there, so for three total servings of your greens, and then if you got a lean turkey breast or chicken breast or something like that, or maybe you guys see us do salmon a lot, good. this is a good one again to go grab salmon from your local grocery store. If you've got an Ingles, they'll steam it for you like I showed last time, and then boom, you've got your meal. Now, for Thanksgiving, let's just say this. You can take both of the last two recipes we've done and use them in your holidays and you're already set up for success. Think about it. You won't cheat much if you just grab some turkey breast and you put with it some of your rolls as well as one of the other components we've already shown you from last week or the ones that are coming up in the next couple weeks, which brings me to this. If you want to be a part of this whole thing and you want to vote on next week's recipe, there's a way you can do it. So what you're gonna to do to vote for next week's recipe is you're gonna get on Lori Hedrick's page, she's tagged in this, and then on Sunday night, she's gonna post what the options are. Again, there are gonna be more recipes for your holidays, tools for your tool chest. You vote on what they are, and guess what, folks? I will make it next Tuesday. All right, with that said, it has been awesome to be with you. I beat the family getting home. What? Have a great evening. Happy Tasty Tuesday. Enjoy your cauliflower, rosemary cauliflower rolls. Bye, guys. Good night.